What's up, Internet? It's your boy, the True Dark Magician, back again for another unboxing video. And today, I got a real special treat for you. Today, I've got... Actually, I don't really know much about what it is. So I'm just going to read the title of you. The uh, Mashu Shoujo Minasani Spacesuit Version. One seventh complete scale figure I got off of Amiyami. It's a very unique, very interesting piece that caught my eye when it was up for pre-order, and I decided, what the hell? Let me just get it. I need, uh, I need, like, I don't have enough weird shit in my magician's magician's lair. But lo and behold, when I got it, it looked awesome, and now I'm gonna show it to you. So strap yourselves in, internet, and get ready to be mom up. Uh, let's, let's do this. Get excited. So this is it, and right off the bat, it's... I don't know if this is an original character or something from a magazine or a manga. I just know it, it looked really, really good when I saw it online. And it looks really, really good now in person. Especially this box. This box is a very interesting design, where it's just clear almost 100% through. It's got this amazing spaceship design on the side. No, that's not a spaceship. That's her gun. That's her, um, that's her, that's her laser gun. It's one of the accessories she comes with. And we got this nice huge picture on the back. And also, you've got this, got, uh, this nice plastic over it. Make it nice and shiny. See if I'm getting looked up. And it's also done by a company, a studio I've never heard of. Uh, 2D and 3D creative studio. Uh, quiz, or quos, quiz, cues, Q-U-E-S, I guess that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, don't have much to say about the character, but I do have a lot to say about the sculptor, so, the sculpture, so let's get this open and take a look at it. heavy plastic and that's just the box <laughs> it smells funny too <laughs> Jesus okay so, right off the bat, let's address one thing. Yes, this is a cast-off, which means it's a figure that comes with certain accessories that you're able to remove and then replace to show certain aspects of her anatomy exposed. But no, I will not be showing you this. I haven't even gotten monetized. I'm not going to blow my chance to get monetized before that. So, no, there will be no partial or upfrontal nudity on this channel. That's a true Dark Magician guarantee. Okay, so... But, starting right off... Uh, here's the base. Pretty interesting. I'm guessing these are supposed to be dead aliens that have been splattered by the character. Yeah, um... Really interesting. Kind of very 1990s Nickelodeon, I guess. I guess they were just going for, um... Whatever would look good or funny or playful. I guess they were just going for colorful and not serious because I don't think this is supposed to be like scary. It's just supposed to be fun, really. Oh, that's take that. Get that off. And this thing comes with accessories too. Here's your blaster. It's the same design that uh, was on the side of the box. It's really nice. This is ripped full of detail right off the bat. Here's some more, uh, here's another splatter piece I can just put on the base. There's actually a spot for it to go, too. Nice little hole and a peg on it to put it in. It's an extra hand. It's an extra hand. And, oh, here's something. It's an extra boob. Yeah, it's an extra boob. I'm going to keep that in the plastic so you can't really see it, but yeah. It's an extra boob. Okay, that's the part I'm not going to show you, like for real. 
<laughs> but let's move on and oh, get this figure out of here. It's in there good, too. I don't just want to rip stuff off. Oh, and it's got a nice metal peg to, to slide the foot in. It's got to be at a certain angle, I guess. There it is. Oh, there it is. And now let's uh, take the gun and place it in. Gun comes apart. Gun comes apart. Hmm. Excuse me. Finally got the gun attached. Finally got the gun attached. That was harder than taking it out of the box and putting it on the, putting the peg on. The, oh man. Yeah, that's the thing about these little um, accessories. Sometimes they're just a bitch to put on, which is why people opt to leave them in the box. But yeah, here she is. This is a uh, Maho Shoujo uh, Minashani. Min, Mina I hope I'm saying that right. In all her splendor. And I guess it's supposed to be, um, I guess, an etchy style... I don't have a whole lot of etchy, really, except for some of my fourth scale figures in the back, as you can see. But I think this is um, one of the smaller ones. I don't usually go for etchy, really. Uh, I'm not that hard up. To, I'm not that hard up to see boobs or cartoon girls <laughs> half naked. But no, like I said, it was an interesting design. Other than the usual, it was a, I guess, a fun, imaginative design. A character who wanted to explore space and ended up getting her clothes ripped off by aliens. Yeah. Yeah. Don't think they're already coming up with like 50 different mangas, light novels, and animes of that same exact pre premise. But yeah. But like I said, it is a good, solid design. Creative. Pleasing to look at. Yes, I admit. And just all out fun, just all out fun, funny, creative. And like I said, this year I'm going for more quality over quantity. So it's definitely good quality, good plastic, good paint job, good design. Uh, cost me like a little over 150 off of AmiAmi, but it was well worth it because it got here in plenty of time. I think I ended up waiting out two months for it to come in. So yeah. It was a good purchase all around. I'm glad I got it. It's going to look great in my collection. And I'm going to get more. I'll probably get more from this. internet that was it that was my unboxing and review of the 17 scale complete figure menace uh misani spacesuit version figure by Qu by quest q at least i hope that's how you pronounce it and i'd like to thank you for joining me today and well sticking with me through all these videos uh i'm really grateful and i hope you enjoyed watching them as much as i enjoyed making them uh, if you liked what you saw and you want to see more, I've included links on the screen somewhere. And if you really wanted to help out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend. Every little bit helps. So, yeah, that's it. I think I've finally, finally made it through the majority of my unboxings. Oh, man, it has been a journey. But now I am... I am so happy. Now I've got some time to... Relax, work on some other projects, and just... Who could that be? Who could that be?